Hello and welcome back to the MATLAB tutorial. It's the video 4 and in this video we learn how to plot a square waveform. So let's begin. So here you can see that our aim is to plot a square waveform. So what is a square waveform? I will discuss a theory a bit. So here you can see a square wave is a non-sinusoidal periodic waveform in which amplitude alternates at a steady frequency between fixed minimum and a maximum value with change with same derivation at minimum and maximum although it's not realizable in physical systems which is very true the transition between the minimum and maximum is instantaneous for equal square wave so those who want to note it down can pause the video and note it so let's begin towards our coding here i open a matlab simple steps control plus n a new tab opens so here you know that we will <coughs> write a coding as I have told everyone in my previous video this is the introduction video introduction to the MATLAB yeah let's start coding question 2 to perform square function graph Okay, let's begin according. Clear screen, close all. Okay, now t space equal space. Our intervals will be from minus 80 to 0.008 and 8. <coughs> Okay, so now u space equal to space square. Since so this is a square waveform, square the time that we want time in the square waveform, so we we'll put the t. You can see I have told you this rectangular box earlier in my previous video. If you didn't know don't know about this, you can just watch out that video. They have told about this. Okay, so let's let's terminate this. Perfect. Now we'll plot as we did in heavy side function plot bracket open t comma u bracket close Sorry. bracket close terminate axis axis square bracket bracket open square bracket open our axis is from minus 20 20 0 and 2 we close the square bracket we close the main bracket we don't terminate it here now now we label the x axis and y axis so x label main bracket open square no this is just not part of square bracket like the single limited common fact time bracket t that close single inverted comma close bracket main bracket close terminate y label bracket open single inverted comma open square wave u yeah single input close and main bracket close terminate you wish to write end you can write end but i don't think since we have terminated it's fine yeah so we'll now save it that's the uh, matlab coding matlab coding 004 so this is a fourth coding save yes. change hope it takes some time for the graph to appear okay so our graph didn't appear so what's the reason we'll see it in the command window here you can see there's an error there is the expression to the left of the equal to sign is not a valid target for the assignment okay the file is matlab line 6 column 5 yeah so there is the error now i'll put a space between this i think they should solve it i'll again yeah so i fixed the error and somehow they close also that it is c and o. yeah 
Okay, now we press F5. So yeah, here's the coding, and the error has been removed. This is the output of the square waveform. Here you can see the time is from interval minus 20 to 20. Okay, so if I now change this time, say 40, or should I increase it a more? 60 minus 60, 60, 0 and 6, f 5. Yeah. Now, as you see, the interval increases, this size of the waveform shrinks. So, so zooming it out, the wave has to be adjusted themselves to get into that particular interval. Okay, now last one more thing, I'll just wait the final for more 90 minus 90 plus 90, 0 and 9. F5, C. Minus 90 cannot appear here in the graph, minus 80 and 80. You can see that. So, this is the all in this video. In the next video, I'm I'm going to give you an assignment for you guys to prepare just for practice. Uh, try it yourself. If you are unable to sol sol uh, find a solution for it, I'll surely help you. So, thank you for watching the video, guys. Hope you like this video. Please do like it. Thank you.